So the, the last time uh, it took like forever to get a podcast up, yeah. I was gone, and then Seth's computer decided to let the magic smoke out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, we just figured we would add insult to injury and bring it up on the podcast. So. Dang. That's twice now. Magic. <laughs> and then to make it even more insulting, he had to buy a MacBook instead of being able to buy. It was a Mac Mini. It's not even a MacBook. It's uh, not even that cool. An M1 Mac Mini. Get it right. Okay. It's a different breed. Uh huh. Anyway. Anyways. Anyway, so now we're back up and being able to edit, so we decided that we would film. Um, so uh, should we start here with uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's not a bad idea. I mean, you kind of just did, so it's... That's why I said, should we do it? Yeah. Oh. I like no, it. let's not. Okay, we won't do that. Look, okay. it's critical that you hit the little thumbs up button, too. And the little bell. That and word. the bell. That bell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, the we little want... thumbs up that comes up on the screen yeah. like that. If you really don't like this podcast, just be sure you hit that button twice. <laughs> and... Um... <laughs> so, this podcast, we're going to talk about something that we've had in the works for six months, probably. Oh, we're a little bit longer than six months. It's about about eight months. We started the major construction six months ago. Yeah, I don't know. It's been too long. I've done too many things since then. Anyway, so we have been out of space for a while. We've been in our in a place about this big. Yeah, in our current shop. Well, we moved in there in eighteen and. We thought it was huge. We thought it was huge and ginormous. We weren't even outside of eighteen yet, and we were like, "Well, we're out of space." Yeah, so it's it's thirty two hundred square feet roughly. Um, well, our current location that we are working that's in. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, I'm, just, what, I'm clarifying we, for all those fine people listening. That's three times the size of my house. Not quiet, but pretty close. I will, you know. Yeah, but you're not shipping a hundred packages a day out of your house either. That's true. Um, he keeps having kids, so he'll have as many people as we got employees in that house. No, nope, I'm done. <laughs> Are you? I'm getting they, snipped. They That's know. what it causes that these days. <laughs> mm. We're going to buy the man a television. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure his wife appreciates this part of the car and the podcast. Mm. Oh, that's a good thing she doesn't listen to us rambling. Can't believe I talked about that. It's definitely not getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so the current office now, uh, office slash warehouse slash everything in between is about 3,200 square feet. And everybody probably thinks that we're some kind of huge company or something like that. We're not. We're just kind of making it up as we go. Fake it until you make it. Yeah, that's what they say. (laughs) Literally, there's like right here behind me at my desk is pallet racking with stuff on it. And if you ever call in, you probably hear... Tape gun. Mm -hmm. Well, like when people call in and ask, do you have that in stock? It's like, hang on. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's on the shelf. I got it. <laughs> so we bought a new facility that um, uh, it's just outside of town, a little ways. It's roughly seventeen thousand square feet under roof, uh, which is going to drastically increase our warehousing space and all the room for OBS trucks and increase our ability to uh, be able to hire people. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It, it's kind of already full, and then store all of the. Ridiculous crap we buy. I mean, you've already you've bought six trucks since the last podcast. So this is the it's concept of... It's not been six. Three? More than that. <laughs> <He's> actually, <laughs> and that's in the uh, two-week time frame. He's, he's actually bought more than me this time. That's Ooh, hard Seth? to believe. Me. Oh, you're pointing at Seth. Well, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I haven't bought any trucks. Don't be telling my wife I've been buying trucks. I ain't buying trucks. <laughs> hey, Danielle. Danielle's like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Unless it's a Bronco. She really wants a Bronco. Mm, I'll sell you a Bronco. Mm. Uh, no. I'll like, sell her the blue one. I like That's the one she wants. I know. I thought you didn't want to sell it. <laughs> well, I, I, I would like to buy a Bronco. <laughs> I need a vehicle Everybody more than she wants does. to buy a Bronco. This is like the Oprah show. You get a Bronco. You get a Bronco. Oh, I wish I, everybody look under their seat. There's a Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this big. I wish I had a, a picture of it, but I, my little sister is like, she's got a new new dude she's dating, and he they own like a ranch over in West Texas, but him and his dad, they like geek out over Broncos. So they buy like really old Broncos and restore them. He showed me a picture of like this red and white one. It was like squared off. I don't, y'all know more about it than me. Super old. 
so nice. Super All clean. the expensive ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first, the the early Broncos are the expensive ones. So. Super nice. <coughs> or, I wish I had tech- a picture of it. Yeah, the uh, installer guys. Look at that uh, that uh, Jeep. Yeah. Not a Jeep. That's definitely <laughs> That's not a Jeep. Not a Jeep. <laughs> So anyway, uh, it's going to give us the ability to, to have like an R&D department so we can do better on, on developing new products. We're going to have more warehouse space to, um, to warehouse more products to make sure that we keep more in stock because we're having such a hard time right now keeping up with demand because we don't have the warehouse space to be able to keep up with demand. Well, there's, there's no place to put the product in, in right now. COVID era, like when something comes available, you have to buy all of them so you can be able to sell them and get them to customers. If not, they just kind of scatter to the four winds and we don't have the the room or the facility to put all of that we in do one place. But I mean, we, we, we do, do now. now. Uh, we will in two weeks. Well, two we weeks. own it. It's ours. Yeah, well. It's just under construction. So we haven't really talked about it much because it's just lots going on and we want to get close and be able to, you know, Ta-da, this is the finished product. We're moving in. We're getting, you know, and like, ta-da. So this would be a good spot to let me. Yes. Oh, the overall okay. shop. I had yeah. I did it a while ago where you could do it in a warehouse. <laughs> to kind of give a better overview of it, like the warehouse was a uh, trim shop for a steel building manufacturer, and they had a big shear and press and stuff in there. So we took all that out, cleaned the floors, and made a, made a, a nice new floor, skinned the walls on the inside, air conditioned the building, new LED lights, new pallet racking so that stuff can be organized and shipped in a timely manner and our shipping department can can flow efficiently to, to get the packages in and on the shelf and then out and then back to the customers with as, li- with as little amount of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like lead time? Yeah, lead time. Like instead of five or seven days before something can go out, hopefully now we'll be able to be down to like two to three days before something can go out because we have the room and the facility to, to work but, in it. You know, and we say all this, but let's cut to the chase. The The real reason why we bought it is for the shenanigans. There's a 7,500 7, 7, 7, square foot, 8,000 square foot shop. It's going to be just stacked full of OBS trucks. Just as many as, well, we're going to see how many we can fit. What do you mean it's going to be? It already is. One of them is. Thinking of which, since it's starting to dry out now, we should send them three wreckers over to the other place and have those like six trucks picked up and brought over there and dropped <laughs> off. Six trucks. Is that? You're you really going to get people to start like disliking you. That's yeah. probably that's probably not an exaggeration. Like no wonder we can't find OBS trucks anywhere. <laughs> well, like we you know, know that happens all. a lot on Facebook. They're like, let us get some of these. You know, they're posting. Every other week, <laughs> like, like our box truck, we really should get it and put it inside. Mm-hmm. And stuff yeah, like that. and that's that's kind of what we're gonna we we've been kind of buying up some stuff in the past year or so of just like obscure ones. Like we bought the railroad truck, and we've got a Bronco that was U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Bronco, and then, like we've got the original truck that we had that's a, a four wheel drive box truck, stuff like that. So we're gonna get all that put inside the shop. That way, when somebody comes by, if they want to come by and, and visit us or whatever, we, we'll have a showroom. We can also, like, carry them around and put them, uh, you know, work. well, yeah, I mean, maybe so. But we can, you know, like, carry them through the through our, what, what would you call it? It won't be a museum. Our collection of, yeah, of collection. yeah. The only problem is, is now my wife's going to know how many we actually have. <laughs> you didn't say you had to let her into that room. Well, I mean... You got to go into that room to get into the warehouse room. So you can make them walk around. I'm just trying to help. You ever try to make a woman do anything? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he zoomed in on me at that point. Yeah. I didn't say it. Yeah, I didn't say it either. <clears throat> so anyway, we've got uh, the new building that. We, we've kind of tried to keep it under wraps until we got everything together because inevitably when you release something too early to the public, something falls through, something doesn't happen, and it creates a problem all the way around. This is actually almost complete. I think they finished up the networking systems today for all of our Yeah, we're probably two weeks in. from being fully functional in the new the, at the new world headquarters. 
Well, and, and it's also on a six acre lot, so that gives us room for like having an OBS an OBS only event. Like OBS will have room to spread out. Like where we are right now is, is downtown, so we have to try and do something on a weekend when there's nothing else going on downtown, so we have places to park. Well, we got you know shade trees out there, plenty of rock parking lot, and plenty of room to expand out and about. Well, everybody so. always talks about we should do something uh, like southern United States because you've got you've got like no BS OBS in the uh, northwest, and you've and got Carlisle. Carlisle in the northeast. But there's nothing really in this area for you got east coast, west coast. Now we got to do third coast. <laughs> UGK. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Free Pimp C. <laughs> Gosh dang. Anyway, so that's uh, so that's all stuff that's kind of in the works for the future. We're going to be doing, like, I don't know if we'll call it like an open house or a, I don't know if I'll call it some kind of OBS event. We'll probably just do like an open house. and Open house slash OBS event type scenario. Something like that. Once we're full, once we're in and fully functioning, and have yes, that is the, not planned at this point. It, it's got all the bugs worked out. It's thought about, but it's not planned. <clears throat> and I guarantee it, we will have the Colt Hadley there signing autographs. <laughs> the champagne train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he will be there. Promise. Uh, he... <laughs> will he have his overpriced parts there too? <laughs> Most assuredly. Anyway, so that uh, we'll we will definitely be organizing something. Uh, I'm not real sure when. when organizing, get... <laughs> organizing. <laughs> that, that's I, I use that term loosely. Can we just clarify that organizing stuff around is like, hey Seth, what do you think about X Y Z? It's not a bad idea. All right, get it done. Can we do it tomorrow? <laughs> no, we can't do it tomorrow. It takes like a month. <laughs> No, but I want it done tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll definitely figure out some time because we don't want to interfere with other events and keep people from coming, things like that. Um, so, that and not is, sure when yet. That and it is coming up on summertime in the great state of Texas, which will be hot as balls. So We got an air-conditioned warehouse. No, we don't. We do, but not for people to stand in. Yeah. I know. All the parts, not there anymore. Right. <laughs> but, um, so we'll have to come up with something like that. We'll, we're going to go over and shoot some videos of, you know, our new warehouse space and our storage facility and our R&D facility and our office spaces and stuff like that to give you all a 3D tour, I guess, of the place and around and the trucks that are stacked up there already and things like that. So Seth was already supposed to have done that, but he's slagging. There again. I brought it up this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so will it turn into like a an OBS dealership? No. That'd be pretty cool. You just look out in the front there and there's just OBSs lined up. I mean, I like to just buy them and keep them. Yeah, he doesn't ever buy them to sell them. He just <laughs> hoards them. <laughs> Here we go we're, we're, we're gonna be on TLC before it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting New season of hoarders is out. Yeah. Mm. They're filming season twelve now. Mm. I think we might be able to make it to that show. You know, hoarding is not hoarding if you're organized. I thought yeah. it was it wasn't hoarding if your stuff's cool. There you go. If your stuff's cool, it's not hoarding. What is it then? Collecting? Sure. See, I th I think we can mm. be on on the Discovery Channel. More or less, and be on, <laughs> instead of on TLC, we're on a Discovery Channel under um, uh, American Pickers type show. It's a cooler, yeah. cooler aspect. Then. Yeah, there you go. And hoarding is not hoarding if it's uh, if your stuff is cool. I, I mean, it doesn't paint the the negative perspective. The logic checks out. So yeah, um, what we found out with this whole project is is it, it takes longer than you thought it was going to take, and it's more expensive than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> that is my takeaway from this project so Time, far. Times like four. Yeah, it's been quite quite expensive, um, but it's going to be freaking awesome. So uh, we've got some some pictures. We're going to get some video. Uh, we took a bunch of like progression stuff along the way. There's still a long ways to go. We're going to be we're going to be hiring. 
uh, an R&D guy. Uh, we're going to be putting in like 3D printers and laser tables and CNC machines and stuff like that. Boop, boop, boop. Now hiring. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're definitely going to start with uh, with focusing on like growing that side of the business and. That way we can control inventory a little better on some of the things that we sell. Uh, and, and like really f like serving that niche of things that need to be built that nobody is building, we're just going to start building them. There you go. And I say we figuratively, like, uh, I mean. Like you got a mouse in your pocket? I mean, like, I'm going to hire somebody because I'm not going to, I can't do that. So you're like, y'all literally draw it up, like print it out? 3D yeah. Print type yeah. Stuff? So we'll buy, we'll buy a nice 3D printer and be like, I want to build a thing that does this in this spot and like, you know, get somebody to get my guy that's going to, or girl, you know. But we're, we're also. 2021. It's 2021. But we're also working with a lot of the current suppliers that we deal with on being able to buy bulk inventory of their products so we can have it on the shelf so there's no wait time. Mm. It's currently a lot of stuff has a wait time because they can't build it fast enough because people are buying it so fast. And what we're hoping to do is is instead of them spending all their time shipping out orders and, and whatnot, just be able to palletize it, send it to us on a pallet. We'll have it because we have the room for it and be able to ship something out instead of six weeks waiting on something. Maybe it's only four or five days. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're kind of working on a bunch of different fields here. If nobody has figured this out through any of these podcasts with all of our squirrels are just running around in circles, but you know we're gonna we're gonna be doing the R and D side of things. We're also going to work on warehousing more of the products that we already sell. But that is multifaceted, right? And and like you said, the R and D phase. We buy a lot of oddball trucks because there's a lot of oddball combinations of stuff out there, and people will call us all the time, and they're like, "I've got a widget on this particular model truck, and I can't find it." And the reason you can't find it is because those trucks are so few and far between. Nobody makes a part for it. But when we get enough requests for it, we will actually have that oddball truck that we can buy or we can build the part for and install it on that truck to make sure it works for somebody and be able to start offering those type products. Is that kind of like Lucas Botkin test everything? It, why haven't you bought He that? does it with guns. We do it with, with trucks. It's, it is what it is. Why haven't you bought that six door yet? Because I don't have your money. Because poor. But that is my money. There is no money. <laughs> <laughs> so having said that, um, I'm always looking for stuff like that. I know where there's two really rare centurions right now that I would like to put my hands on, but uh, just right, right this second is not a good time for it. But I do want a six-door, so finder's fee to somebody that gets me a six-door eventually. Your wife is going to kill you. But I'm gonna be so cool going to my funeral in a six door. <laughs> Put big wheels on it before it goes. There you go. I'll help you with that. I like that idea. No swingers though. It's no. illegal in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> You're only illegal on Galveston. Well, oh, is it only on Galveston? <laughs> well, and it also said it can't stick out past your mirrors. You're gonna be getting some. Just, big old mirrors. Just put Dodge mirrors on it. Fold no, them out and be like, no swing. what? Swing swingers. Swingers. Yeah, you know the the wire Wagon wheels. It's got the big, white, long hubs on them or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. They made them illegal in Galveston. I definitely think we should do an OBS and put some on it. No, I, no, no. No. Mm -hmm. no. Remember no. the ones you drive by someone and scrape their hubcaps? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're gonna no. build instead a instead, we're gonna instead, instead of pop trunk, we could put a tonneau cover and pop tonneau cover and have speakers in the bed. No. no. Swing. No. We still so got to build. Do, we can do wood grain on OBS steering wheels now. So, I mean, we could even be gripping grain. <laughs> when we still got to build the electric. We're, yeah, we definitely need to do that. Uh, we're going to do that with your dog coin money. Doge. Doge. Whatever. Doggy coin. <laughs> coin. Yeah, so, uh, so Seth's been over here uh, cryptocurrency balling on his like $28.99 worth of. Right. Uh, worth of. Dogecoin. Did you see that meme they posted earlier in the group? Uh -oh. I'm balling too, man. I'm balling too. Did you buy some? Yes. How much did you buy? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. <laughs> My nine dollars was worth one hundred and ten dollars about three days ago. What's it worth now? now it's worth eight dollars. I mean, no, it's eighty. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I, I, I guess they did better than me because I didn't buy any. I, I, I did see a thing. All I have two thousand friends on my Facebook list. All of them are financial advisors. <laughs> None of them are millionaires. Right. <laughs> Yeah. This one dude did invest like hundred eighty thousand dollars. It's like four million dollars now, or some Ooh. shit like that. He was he is over a million back when it was like twenty cents, and it went all the way to seventy something. Not gonna lie, I would have bailed. I'd have bailed. Oh, I'd have bailed. Yeah. <laughs> Retire. No joke, man. <laughs> so there's that meme that. Uh, you've seen like the roller coaster where it's like the people that are reacting and like <laughs> everybody's freaking out except for the one. And it's uh, it's all that like the people that bought in at like 30 cents and the people that bought in like 79 cents and like they're all freaking out. There's one that says bought in at 0003 cents. They're just chilling. That's me. I bought in at like 00027 something something. Don't you wish you'd have bought like $15,000 worth? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> So I said I paid everything off. Yeah. But the side by side's more cooler. I don't know. That kind of money has been pretty nice. <laughs> so uh so I've been working with this guy from Houston. He's like he owns like five companies with Zango. Go look him up. Um, okay. financial advising type stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh he said the two you wanna be looking at are Cardano and Ethereum. He said, you buy into those now, you'll be sitting where the millionaires of Bitcoin are in the next five years. I know like that Ethereum or whatever, it's gone up to like $3,000 a coin at this point. Yep. Yeah. And he explained it, super wizard brain of his. Um, basically, it's just, wizard a, brain. <laughs> it's just a, better, it's a better Bitcoin. Like the blockchain that it's built on is just better. Wizard brain, I, I see that cat meme with the hat on the little thing. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> when, when he says wizard brain, you have to be like, <laughs> wizard brain. I mean, we had dog, doggy coin or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> dog, and, 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 and then now you got the kitty cat Ethereum shit. Wizard brain. I'm to anyway. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow his advice. So you gonna put like fifteen bucks in that one? Yeah. You put nine I mean, bucks in dog coin. So we worked Doge out. Coin. We worked out some like percentages, and uh, his words is seventy percent of your portfolio should be in those. No thanks. Seventy percent of whatever Why? you're investing off your total income nope. in cryptos. He said like, they're outperforming the stock market by a landslide. It's the yeah. same. It's the same thing as like. Investing in commodities like gold and silver and stuff like that. Yeah, but you don't even want to invest in that. Well, he explained it to me. He said it took 135 years or something like that for the U.S. to spend first trillion dollars, mm -hmm. and in the past year and a half, they spent like four trillion. Ten. Like, yeah. it, well, it's yeah, lots it, four, lots. fourteen trillion. It's just it's yeah. stupid. So he said we've never seen inflation like we're going to see it in the next several years. And he but said, if you don't get in there, but the crypto, the crypto so right. coins aren't going to be uh, uh, immune to inflation. They're going to do the same thing. No, the cryptos are going to take over because of that. That's what he said. I, he can explain it to you better than me, but crypto is going to be no different than owning a credit card, really. It's, it's oh, all the, same. The, the, the What's going to make people super wealthy if, the, if they do take over is the people that bought in when they were nothing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, but Which I mean, is what he's that, saying to do. At, at that point, like, what what regulates that? Something needs to regulate money. And that's the thing that I worry about with, like, cryptocurrency is what what regulates cryptocurrency? The World Wide Web, everybody. It's self-regulating because anybody can trace anything and see where what went where and how and they why. They can't, though. I mean, because all you got to do is change an algorithm and it changes the number that you've got. I mean, I'm not a computer Supposedly, genius, that's but. how blockchain works. Like, it's, it's set, like... Yeah, just, it, it can't be changed. It's it is what it is. It's like gold. You can't make more gold in the world. It, there's as much as there is. Yeah, and whoever finds it finds it. <clears throat> and then at that point, it's whoever what you get, whatever you got to trade. Like, hey, that's valuable to me. Here you go. So, so in other words, what we have done is we we created this program and then said this is worth money, and then people started believing it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's what's happened. That's all the yeah. dollar bill was. I I, yeah. I never said the dollar bill was worth anything. We, have y'all seen that meme that was like, uh, um, I think cars should be. We shouldn't. Uh, no, it was uh, some 
It was Mike Cashman <laughs> sent it to me the other day. It was something like, uh, you can't just you can't just print money or something like that. Oh, you, can't, yeah. you can't just invent money, Federal Reserve. Yeah, the Federal Reserve's like <laughs> I like the one uh it's talking about money <laughs> money pre- or, uh, was it money press makes noises or yeah, something. Yeah, m- money press goes burr. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's the the one uh, with Bert from Tremors, mm-hmm. and uh, it says, you know, talking about gun registry. I don't think we should have to register our guns. Well, we register our cars. I don't think we should do that either. But. <laughs> <laughs> Who registers cars? So yeah, I don't know, man. Like, makes like, you, makes you think that you should buy some of it because people have gotten so damn wealthy. But like, it, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy some of it. May not be a lot, but I'm gonna buy some of it. I don't well, think you should have seventy percent of your portfolio in it. That's a dude just trying to make a quick buck. Honestly, well, I tell you, for me, I don't, this like, guy doesn't make any money off of me for for that advice. Well, if that if tells he, you, if anything. he's if he's running your stock portfolio, then he won't mm-hmm. make money on it. I run it. He just gives you suggestions. Yeah, you he's need, helping me with my mortgage. He's mm-hmm. not helping me with with yeah, that. Yeah, you you need somebody that does it on a daily basis to. Manage your portfolio. I don't like shit that's not tangible. That's my problem. Like, I don't invest in gold and silver without actually buying gold and silver. Like, here, here, here's some, here's some gold and silver. Like those people that buy like those gold and silver annuities and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's all yeah. weird. Let the U.S. dollar collapse and tell me how much actual gold and silver you have. Right. Like, you don't have it in your hand. Yeah. Let me put it this way. I'm you not ain't got investing nothing. enough of my income well, I, to worry I, about 70% of it going to crypto. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about I'm not saying that. I'm just like, it, it make, I don't know. It blows my mind that, that people have so much trust in it. Of course, I guess people trust the U.S. dollar. So well, the, theoretically, I guess we do because we take it. So here's like my Which thing. was a joke to begin with. Why don't we just create OBS coin? <laughs> the, do you see people that OBS trucks? Did you see where um uh where the dude that created that Ethereum whatever was uh he's now worth over a billion dollars? Mm-hmm. Talking about Ethereum? Ethereum, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Well, like my thing is, I'm not really. You know, we talk about. I mean, we, he, we talk about cryptocurrency a lot on this show. Yeah. To not really deal in it. Right. Well, I mean, like the guy with Ethereum, basically, he made something imaginary and then got people to buy it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Essentially, really. that's what he did. I mean, I mean, I've learned though, the Ethereum dude is actually smart. Like what he created is actually but, a genius but, currency. But still, though, I mean, he basically built something that is not tangible that you can't touch, you can't have, and sold it, and people bought it and bought in on it, and it made him wealthy. There's literally nothing to have. You own absolutely nothing. You're, you're not lying. I mean, <laughs> you can't go down to the bank and be like, give me all my Ethereum, thing, please. Right. You can't, I mean, in most places currently aren't taking a cryptocurrency. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can buy with cryptocurrency other than- More and more are. There are, so there are banks. There are banks getting in with Ethereum to yeah. to be a, a middle person in trading it. There, so. there, will, there will be that because, I mean, it's the way, I, I hate to use this, it's the wave of the future, but- there will be places that do it, but there's there's absolutely like if you went into the bank and they were like, oh, no, we don't have any of your Ethereum. And you're like, it's all here. And you're like, they're like, no, it's not. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. You can't just go rob the bank and steal I mean, money. Yeah, you can't, you can't go cash. get it. Yeah. And, in, and if you're not a computer genius, you can't hack into their system and, and take it. And that's another thing. Like, if well, y'all like, been wondering how they're going to get rid of cash? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. and, and that's Maybe what I was going to say. Like, whether you this be- how they gonna get rid of it? Whether you believe the Bible or not, and Revelation and all that stuff, like the world is clearly moving towards one world currency. Well, that's to and- me. To me, we've been almost like that with credit cards yeah. for a while because you've been able to right. go to Europe and swap a credit card and use U.S. dollars and right U.S. U.S. dollars. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, U.S. dollars have been accepted all over the world for sixty years. Let's convert this on the back end for a profit. Yeah. Yeah. So I it's really hard for me to like say that we haven't been on a one world currency for sixty years or better. Right. But really and truly like cryptos are 
Internet yeah. based. Cri- cryptos, right. it, it, it looks. It's just another step towards losing any kind of national sovereignty well, to me. Well, it, because if, if it's accepted in, in uh, Russia or China or America, what was that? Uh, uh, the founder of the Rothschild family that said, give me control of a nation's uh, money and I care not who makes its laws. Well, and, and like the crypto thing pretty, is pretty it's it's a novelty thing right now because millennials and the generation after millennials and stuff like that that play on the phone all the time, it's nothing more than a game. And you just get an app and you're like... Well, you, that, that's no different than uh, than a whole bunch of boomers that trade that they trade stocks. This is true. That's the same damn thing. They're but over it, there playing a game gambling. But but that's what I'm getting at is like it's it's... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? It's easier to do now than it ever was. Before, like when I was in school, nobody knew anything about stocks. Nobody. It's because you're old as fuck. I know, right? <laughs> Dang. But nobody, nobody in school taught you about stocks, and you weren't day trading, and nobody that was on a on a regular nine to five yeah. job was day trading stocks. They were going to work nine to five. Now you can literally wake up, take your phone, and go. I want to trade this and this and this, and hit the button. And then when you come home in the afternoon, you can see if you made or lost money in the afternoon, just like that. Or even on your lunch break or on your smoke break or we, whatever. We really do live in a crazy world, though, because there are plenty of people that have just made fortunes off of mm-hmm. off of trading uh, cryptocurrencies or trading stocks on their phones or creating YouTube videos. And they, there's so many people that just don't even have jobs anymore, like jobs, like mm-hmm. nine to five, we work every day mm-hmm. kind of thing, mm-hmm. like you, you see all kinds of people that are like homesteaders where they buy a piece of land and build a house. They film the whole thing like they do it with hand saws and shit like that. And they're they're worth a fortune. You're That's like, why the stock market has always been such an absurd thing to me, like really understanding what it is. Like people getting rich off of other people's backs, like well, other people's hard work. Well, that, that's no different than making money off of YouTube. Hey, I mean, yeah. Hey, you, you, you film some videos a whole bunch of people watch the videos, you get monetized. I mean, and at the end of the day, like, you don't have a job, like a job. There, there are a ton of, like, farmers and stuff like that that they really make their money from your, their YouTube channel. Now, it is hard work. Like, YouTube yeah, I mean, is. I mean, it I will is. Say that, uh, I will say that's true. Once, I mean, you figure out, once you figure out what it takes to get people engaged, it's not hard. The figuring out what to still, engage You people. still... But it, not to discredit the the time to to film and to edit and to do all this other stuff, it's not a job that you worked for fifty years, forty right. years, whatever, and you worked the same ass factory job for forty years and you never got rich. You know, you got whistling diesel over there that figured out he could destroy a truck and get people to watch a ton of videos, and he's like. He's buying hundred thousand dollar trucks, two hundred thousand dollar trucks, and like pouring concrete in the bed of them. Or like he's buying a forty thousand dollar seventies model Ford and pushing it into a tree with a dozer and making two hundred, three hundred grand on a video, if not more than that. I mean, he's probably making fifteen, twenty million dollars a year. He ain't working that hard. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's my point. Like it's hard work, but yeah, the amount of money that he's making, like. It's yeah, a, it's it's it, amazing the time that we live in. Right, demand, it, supply and demand. It, it's 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 no different than I don't know what Elon did, but he went from being like the fourth richest man in the world to being the richest man in the world in like seventy two hours. Like he did something, and he changed something, and his net worth went. He did not the make a hundred billion dollars in seventy two hours. It's just supply and demand, really. I mean, just the ri- look at all the richest people in the world. What do people want? What do they pay for? Well, and, and but that's not really because people. How are, can I manipulate the system to make it work that way? Because because <laughs> a, a YouTube a YouTube video is not something people want and are paying for. It is something that people just watch, and because people are watching it, ads get thrown in. So therefore, it gets monetized. It's essentially something that they do want. What they what yeah. they want is entertained. They want to be entertained. Right. And the that's entertainment industry is one of the largest industries. Yeah, in I mean, the world. that's well, that's yeah, what it has been. been. Well, I mean, just think about. So we're we're kind of shifting the money from like athletes getting paid twenty million 
to throw a ball through a basket to like I, normal people. Paying thirty million dollars for a little kid to open up toys and look at them. I personally think that's less less hard to be a professional athlete than it is to be some because to be like these people that all right. Let me back up to make as much <laughs> money as the professional athletes like work to money ratio, like how hard it is, how hard your work is to money ratio. I think professional athletes way overpaid in comparison to, because the YouTube people, it's a, there's a lot more to it than people really understand. One, you got to have a, ne- a niche, 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 whatever, whatever. Potato. You got to have potato, that. You got to, you, you've got to, it, it, it has to be a business to you. Like you have to have, you know, set dates, recording. You got to constantly be creating content, writing content. They script it. They record it. They edit it. I mean, there's a whole lot more that goes into it. Than yeah, it. not everybody's willy nilly like us. Yeah, I mean, like the people who do it well and who make millions, yeah. like MKBHD, a tech guy. Like it's a legit full time business for him. Dude's running yeah. a business. Like Elon mm-hmm. Musk runs his business. Yeah, no, and and, so. and I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that it's an amazing time that we live in. That that you can do that. You can. Film, right. produce your own content mm-hmm. and make millions of dollars. Hey, twenty years ago, that wasn't possible. Right. Twenty yeah. years ago. Ten years ago, it wasn't possible. Yeah, it it was it was if you if you filmed if you scripted, filmed, edited, and everything, you you, you couldn't distribute it. Yeah. That's that distribution was always the the hink in the chain. Right. You had to have a four year degree to do anything. Na- now that nowadays you could. You got you could you could buy a three hundred dollar camera and well, you film got, yourself traveling. No, you just take your phone out of your pocket. Apple and fil- just film yourself traveling, throw up a video a week, and make three hundred thousand dollars a year. Right. And make twice as much as somebody working for a living. So how come we don't make richest 000, company in the world? It's what people want. We're working. They on want that. a phone that can do everything. I, I believe it's our cameraman. He's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Happy damn. <laughs> I mean, I could say. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that, that is one of those things like. Um, I think if we scripted our stuff more and made it real stupid, like uh, like all the Discovery Channel shows, we'd probably get a ton of views and be making well, I mean, a ton of most, money. Most of the. The one the one video that we filmed on YouTube that like had a little bit of acting in it, no matter how stupid it was, got like a hundred and something thousand views. It was entertaining. Speaking of scripted shows, did y'all see Elon Musk's SNL? I, I heard watched, about it. Did not see it. I watched part of it. <laughs> oh my it. god, dude! I hadn't He's watched. Not it. an actor. He is not an actor. I well, watched uh, SNL. He did. Like, he did say that he had Aspergers. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So really, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it all goes back to like twenty year, t- ten years ago. You couldn't make the money that you can make now. By doing something stupid on YouTube and filming yourself. Well, and honestly, I think a lot of that come into play when the Jackass series come out, and they started filming that stuff. That and um, what was the uh, Bam? The Viva La Bam. Viva La Bam, where they did dumb shit, painted each other, look, painted a whole room green. Like even the bananas were green. Yeah. You, you want to know the most extreme form of that? Like to, in today's time, this crazy Jake Paul crap. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Jake, the Jake, he's like the most famous YouTubers, more subscribers than anybody. He's like, went from, he was a Vine star, got famous making six second funny videos, mm-hmm. moved to Hollywood, created basically his own Empire. company, Team 10, like paid people to come yeah. stay in his house and do dumb crap. Never and now that. he's trying to be a professional boxer and he's calling out Mayweather. Well, his his brother. brother is fighting Mayweather. Jake Paul. Oh, Logan yeah, Paul. yeah. I know Logan, who you're talking Logan about. Logan Paul's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Jake Paul is the one that's actually fighting Mayweather. Yeah. Well, they were, no, Logan him and his brother Mayweather. were in it. Logan, his older brother, is fighting Mayweather. Mm. Jake Paul also wants to fight Mayweather, and he <laughs> pissed him off at the at their, like, Yeah, took his hat off. or some crap. Took his hat, and Mayweather, like, supposedly has bodyguards hunting him down. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, he's, he's but it's all entertaining. He's 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 doing it. He knows what he's doing. He's getting rich off of people, like Triller. The whole Triller with they, the Jake Paul fight and the Ben Askren dude, like Snoop Dogg and homies were sitting on the panel, smoking weed and rolling blunts and had Justin Bieber and like the biggest entertainers it's, in between fights and like, it, and it all started this dude doing dumb stuff. Lines. From Vines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, he's and the richest videos. kid in the world. Well, 
Well, I, I know he's friends with Dave and them over at Diesel Brothers. I see them talk back and forth from time to time. But like, that's Who's? like that Jake Paul guy. They built a truck for him here a while back. Oh, really? It's the only reason I know about it. I mean, people yeah. say the kid's a good guy, like, behind the camera. or But it's that he's well, he the whole point. He, he knows how to uh, manipulate. How to manipulate. Uh, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just wild. I, I, just, I mean, I don't know because I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't pay attention I don't, to that I don't stuff pay either. attention to people on YouTube because it's, I mean, if it's not got 30 seconds of how do I take this bolt out and move it to this spot so I can get this part apart, it's useless. <laughs> I mean, I, it's it's not, though, because those people are making millions of dollars. So I, I do, I do to some extent, pay attention to it. I just don't particularly like it. Like, I don't like that form of entertainment, but apparently a ton of people do. That's the most... I, I like the fighting part. I love watching UFC fight. <laughs> like... And yeah, but that's not really where he too. made his money at. Like, that's just his latest stunt. Yeah. It's not really, like... It's where he's headed, though. Yeah. And so many people want to know, but, is it real? I mean, so far, he's KO'd everybody he's fought. Hmm. And so people want to know, okay, is this dude a real fighter? Like, is he really going to be a fighter? And so people well, are trying to get him to fight. If he fights Mayweather, we'll find out. Because right. Mayweather is usually the one that's never never lost any whatever. Usman, yeah. he's trying to fight Usman. I don't know anything about like it. UFC, yeah, dude. Him. Okay, well, yeah, the greatest fighter in the world right now, welterweight. Yeah. Anyways, I, most most of my entertainment comes from YouTube. So. Yeah. Same. So. I watch well, more YouTube. I guess than I guess that's what I'm getting at. Like, it's we we have officially left the industrial revolution. We're now in the technology revolution, and mm. like you just kind of gotta if you don't roll with the punches, you get left behind. Kind of like we were talking about. Brad's mom not doing email and yeah. not doing social media and her saying that it, there was no money in it. Like, uh, excuse me. Yeah. That's right. where all of the money is at. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's all in big tech and that's, that's a shame. And like, to me, I want to, I want to make as much money off of big tech and then get it out of big tech and like put it into tangible things mm-hmm. <laughs> like trucks. property and trucks and real estate. Bullets. We'll we'll make a we'll make an OBS coin. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be real. I we'll partner just, with Musk when we build the electric truck. There we go. I mean, that would be pretty freaking cool. I mean, he who's that we know that works at the uh, the Giga Factory or whatever? I know a couple people. Just You're like, to, hey, cuz, come here, let's talk for a minute. Stop <laughs> some, thinking. Stop thinking about. Something tells me that's not the way that works. Stop. Hey, can you can you bring this out in your lunchbox? <laughs> no, no, just be like when Elon comes out there, be like, hey, hey, cuz, come here for a minute. Let's 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 hold up on the moon and the Mars landing for just a second. Right. We need to build a truck with electric motors. So let's uh come here real quick. It's shaped like a brick and it's not aerodynamic at all. But so fuck it'll be cool. Let's do it. So it's kinda like a cool version of the Cybertruck. Oh <laughs> there went our chances. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just as dumb as sending a Dogecoin to the moon. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. if he's willing to do that, hey, look he here. Be look here. You know, you were on a whole new level of fuck you money when you'd be like, "We gonna land a Doge coin on the moon because I fucking want to, because I want to." But like, I, I want, I want this on the moon, so I'm gonna do it. And because I can, because I created the rockets to get there. It, that's a whole new level like, of fuck you right there. Like, just we, not not only I'm not gonna, only are we going to Mars. We, like we don't we don't do that like y'all don't worry about that but since we already been to the moon and it's a whole lot closer <laughs> and and everybody keeps talking about dogecoin going to the moon we just i'm just gonna put it on the moon and you know what's what? gonna happen dogecoin is gonna skyrocket and elon musk is gonna get even more rich because yeah. of it so because because he, he knows what he's, he's got doing. some rocket ship be like see this that's my rocket ship we're yeah. gonna put that on the moon but the thing is that i feel like the dude's got to be super careful because the government could start regulating him like a boss as yeah, far as market you, well, they, you, they've you already tried send rockets up whenever you want it's got to be approved by the faa and, well they already tried that they're already doing that yeah, yeah. and then he won the nasa contract yeah so i mean and it's being contested by amazon yeah like how messed up is that like Amazon. You mean Blue to, Origin? Huh? I mean Blue Origin? Or whatever. But like, really? Like, Amazon. Yeah. I, I want to know, like, what kind of parallel world we live in that the guy that had created PayPal and the guy that created 
the website that ships all the parts are the ones that are creating uh, are the ones that are uh, competing for the space race. Like right? Well, night or 1960, it's like Russia and America. <laughs> like we're over here duking it out, like trying to figure out which one's going to be the the uh, first one to the moon or whatever. And now over here, it's like Bezos and Musk are like, "I'm going to beat you to the moon." And Musk is like, "Do it, pussy." <laughs> Com- strict, just commercial flight operations, like, well, screw I- the government. I mean, to some extent, I kind of like it because, like, I'm such a capitalist kind of person. Like, I love <laughs> capitalism. If they can do it, they're doing it with their own money. Like, they're doing it with my money. I'm a little pissed, you know? Yeah. They're doing it with uh, with their own money, and they're making it, and they're figuring it out. Like, <laughs> there there comes a point when you've got so much money that you don't know what the hell to do. So you're like... So you send a Dogecoin to the moon? Fuck it. I'm going to go to put a rocket on the moon. And you're like... Well, you also have the dude... Uh, can't remember his name, but I mean, that's trying to um, commercialize space flight, like as far as like sending people, like y- you can take a trip I, into space. I, I, I really, I, I do really hope that he gets to Mars and he can like start inhabiting Mars like he wants to, because I, I hope he takes a bunch of these morons that we got down here and on a different planet. Oh, no, everybody from California. He'll take all ride. the geniuses and Mars will become no, great. No, because anybody that's genius ain't going to go live on Mars. You don't know that. I did like how he said, yeah, probably a lot of people are c- going to die at first. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, yeah. I mean, like, you know, it was like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. sacrifice something. Yeah. I mean. It's like, I watched a little bit of the SNL, which. I pulled. would not give mine. No, never. Can we, I, can we load a lot of people onto a rocket ship and send it to the sun? Hmm. Send them at night. Yeah. That way it won't be hot. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> we, when it's when it's spun around this going? way and the sun is dark, we'll put them on that side of the sun. Is that on the is that on the flat side? <laughs> since uh, Earth is flat. Where are hmm. we going? <laughs> it's, it's getting warm in here. <laughs> Why did you guys close all the windows? <laughs> <laughs> Who turned off the AC? <laughs> Damn. Oh man. I have to pee. We pull over. I believe the world will be doomed before we inhabit Mars. That's my opinion. But we'll yeah, see. I mean, we'll be gone. I mean, if you watch, so non YouTube channel. Mm. If oh, you weird. watch, if you watch like stuff like Ancient Aliens on the History <laughs> Channel, <laughs> we just went there. <laughs> well, <laughs> and George new- Tanakanakas or whatever his name is, you know. Aliens. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now to our new segment. Well, I mean, anyway. Ancient aliens. Ancient aliens. I mean, they think that the world has started over at some point in time anyway because of <clears throat> same, same, same scenario. Like it got to a certain point and was like, okay, reset. So And it got reset again. So since we're talking about crazy conspiracy theories, how about that QAnon stuff? How'd that work out? <laughs> What do you mean? There's a whole lot of people that are very disappointed. Hey, I played along for a while because some of it makes sense. But they came out and said it was all a joke. Oh no, no, but it's there's still nothing ever happened. The 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 the, diehards are still saying, "Hold to the plan, it's still coming." It's like the uh, the greatest the uh, how to how to refer to it the the other day. Psyop of the greatest psyop that the CIA has ever done on the far right in. In the history of the world. It's probably the greatest PSYOP ever. Define PSYOP. I don't even know what that word Psy- means. Psy- uh, psychological. Psychological operation. It's Kinda. basically like... They fucked with all the heads of all the far people. right and uh, and kept them from revolting. Yeah, basically. Basically saying, just hold on. Your savior's coming. Hold on. So, so hold like on. A, a like a like a liberal ran thing. Well, trying yeah. to keep the right. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a uh, or just government run run, run by somebody that wants to maintain control. Okay. It's run by somebody that wants to maintain control and peace. And uh, and I can take that. So since we kind of jumped onto that, what about this whole UFO thing? Oh, the CIA releasing all the Pentagon, UFO stuff. Yeah. yeah, Pentagon. 
Well, I mean, that was all kind of part of the whole QAnon thing where they were talking about, like, the, the government is going to tell you that UFOs are real and aliens are real and all this stuff. And then, like, three months did. later, they were like, we have all this footage of real aliens, real UFOs. Who, who better to run, just, uh, to give out that kind of information than the government itself? Well, I mean... right. I mean, it's really easy to Photoshop in today's day. Well, and make it so realistic. Well, the I mean, the government did the MK Ultra. That was part of the QAnon thing, right? But MK Ultra was real, and it's why Ted Kaczynski bombed the shit out of everybody in the nineties. He was part of MK Ultra, and that's what screwed him up. I mean, I feel like we're on a really far tangent at this point. Right? Um, yeah, just a little it's, bit. Uh, Never fails. Yeah, I do. I'm telling you. So yeah. So back anyway. to our shop that we're building. <laughs> don't joke. <man. laughs> back back to us poor people that we really don't we really don't know what we're doing. We're just speculating lots of things. Um. Yeah. So please invest in our OBS coin. It's going to go to the nearest gas station. <laughs> Only if it's a power stroke. <laughs> Four sixty. You'll have to push it. <laughs> yeah. There's no moon going here, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow I will let you send me all the money that you can that way you think you're uh, doing something and <laughs> I mean it's not tangible they just send people money for nothing maybe we need to get a Patreon page a what? Patreon it, support us Boomer yeah, support our mission you know what Patreon is don't you? Never pa- Patreon is like uh, YouTube you can uh, basically create a fan page and people will just send you money to keep on. It's like an content. OnlyFans for a non X rated. So we don't have to show buttholes. Right. Correct. Only if you want to. I mean, if that's your thing, we Patreon can set you up with something. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Patreon if that's probably. your thing, system. I mean, if that's your thing, you're going to have to get a different camera guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to learn how to do camera work yourself. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Know where this is going? <laughs> <laughs> it's got hot dogs in it. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, no, please no. I mean, probably would be a viral can, video. Can can we can we actually talk about something productive? Maybe. So, let's theorize on how to make a viral video. Uh, what would our viewers like to see that would be who who's gonna be who's gonna be our next guest i think we should bring a guest on this show I mean, somebody needs to be involved in the fuckery i was gonna bring devin on and then devin had to go off and make his own podcast so i don't know if he wants to come on or not so are we like rivals now with him like is that you know that's a pretty good uh that's that's a pretty good thing we should uh hmm i, I think i think we just became enemies <laughs> 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 we could uh I don't know why but did we just become best friends that's nope. exactly what came into my mind definitely enemies <laughs> I mean I don't know enemies? I mean who would our viewers like to listen to like I mean there's a ton of people that we could they don't know the what show. they want we should tell them what they want <laughs> okay Hitler <laughs> I mean, okay. hi I'm from the government and I'm here to help <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez. And the people didn't know they wanted Dogecoin until like a week ago. Now everybody wants it. I was in it 2018, I'll say that. So, I mean, we could. I mean, we already got the whole gang together once, so. Yeah, that turned out great. Mm-hmm. Told y'all. Alamo. I, I, I told y'all. <laughs> Dude, he was so mad. He's like, I can't believe you guys just roasted me for so long. Like. You deserved it. I'm sorry. <laughs> the last podcast? Yeah. Um, podcast before last. Well, we, we roasted him pretty hard the last podcast. One in the, one in the seven that we did. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I Alamo PV pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know who would be good to bring on currently, honestly. Like, that could... Get here to our I mean, film studio. We don't have to bring somebody on uh, on film. We could uh, we could get them over the phone. I think we could figure out audio there, huh? Mm-hmm. Preferably someone who adds value 
to the listeners. That would be good. Yeah, that would you be know, good. That's a good start. We could try Elon, see what he says. Yeah, why don't you, play, why don't you make a phone call? I, I can mean, ring him off. He, he has this random times where he just does interviews with random I said we told Joe people. Rogan and have him on. <laughs> good he, fucking luck. You're right. <laughs> that strange. dude's out there. Stranger things have happened. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know. I guess we need to sit down and put our heads together on like, or, I mean, we could have, you know, if you uh, want to become a member of the podcast, shoot us an email. We yeah. should get Colt on here. The Colt Hadley. The Colt Hadley. He can't, he can't make love to his parts on air, though. Mm. Excuse me? That's extreme. Oh, you missed that, that whole conversation. It was on a... Yeah, you're not in all things OBS, but... Like, there's a dude in there that... I don't really give a fuck about all that stuff. Yep. <laughs> I got too much better shit to do. Yeah. Some dumbass was in there telling him he was asking too much for his parts. Mm-hmm. Basically. Same guy was in there giving me grief about trying to buy a steering wheel course so we could get them redone and refurbished out to customers because we're selling so many of them that we can't keep up with the demand. And... uh he thought he understood how a core charge worked, but he didn't understand how a core charge worked. I mean, I'm just a fan of people who build great stuff. Hmm. Hence the uh, Elon Musk. I like their marketing. Did you see the meme the other day that was like, it was a, it was a tweet. It was like, y'all know a bunch of men run Apple because their iPhone 6 be five and a half inches. <laughs> And some dude commented, yeah, of course it's uh, run by a man. It's a trillion-dollar company, not a kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh, shit. So bad. Canceled. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. bad. The next person Facebook bans is? Oh, I'm getting like. banned for lots more shit than that. <laughs> that that's just the little smallest thing on the list. Right. Wow. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to end this. Um, I feel like we we need to get uh, we need to get questions. We need to ask for questions. Well, we got some questions one time before, and we were going to shoot that in a podcast, but we haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> well, it was it was in that midst of meltdowns and Chernobyl and shit like that. So <laughs> that was the uh, that was the lost footage. No, no, that wasn't the lost footage. No, it wasn't? I thought it was. No. That was a different lost footage. Maybe we should get Nicolas Cage in here, see if he can find it for us. National treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Watched that the other day. It was a good movie. Still mm-hmm. a good movie. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's about that one and Gone in 60 Seconds are the only two movies that I like that he's in. Really? I just really don't like him as an actor. Hmm. It's still a good movie, so as in like movies... Like some movies don't age well. They they decay as they Yeah, get some old. some are definitely like they weren't good when they came out and they damn sure aren't good now. Like the Fast and Furious stuff, like when Fast and Furious came out, like, whoa, this is cool. And now it's like I when, really didn't when, like when did Vin Diesel become an astronaut? Well, right. Like <laughs> he went from street racing to being some kind of military psyops guy to being like space. I agent. like the whole military psyops. Thing though, like, yeah, but that's a different you know, show. Like, don't don't turn Fast right. and Furious into going to space. Yeah. They're going to space in the newest one or some crap. Yeah, it's like I, to be to be fair, I didn't really like the acting in the first one, anyways, or any of them. I kind of thought all the acting was bad, but like you fix it, all kinds of people's feelings. Sorry, but like Fast and Furious came out. Like, oh, this is cool, and then you go watch it again. You're like. This is not good. This was this was terrible. Not every movie can be as good as Smoking the Bandit. I was I was going uh, there. Just like, saying, not every a, movie can be that good. That's a timeless movie. It's always good. Jurassic Park is a timeless movie. Mm, yeah, never seen it. And Twister. Twister. That's a good movie. Next time you come over, we're gonna watch Jurassic Park. No. What? So, why not? So Jurassic Park and Twister were the same producers and filmmakers, like same same. Mm-hmm. Director. It, director, producer, mm-hmm. everything. So can we have a Jurassic Twister? Is that like Sharknado, but like with <laughs> dinosaurs? I think we just got our podcast that goes viral. Viral video. Have you ever seen Sharknado? 
It's really, really, uh, really bad. Unfortunately, I've had to watch a few minutes of it. So, and so there's I'm, like 15 of them. I, think, I'm, I'm, I was out. just getting ready to say we each need our own like segment, like 60 seconds with Seth or, you know, something, something catchy, like where the people that, that listen, you know, they, they can expect some 60 seconds of dumb crap coming from Seth. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why has it got to be dumb? There should know? be an overabundance of stuff to cut in for that 60 seconds. <laughs> Why has uh, it got to be dumb? And I mean, you. But, but we can create up, another like, one for you, and it can start with the the T Rex Jurassic Twister. <laughs> well, why don't you sit down and let's cl- do some sort of closure on this actual video? I need closure. Right. So, what kind of closure do you want? I don't know. Danielle's like the last video just kind of cut off. She's like, I didn't know if something happened or what. It just stopped. So. All right, so this is a closure. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Podcast number seven. Next one is going to be epic. Six. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell thing. Yep. I mean, where did yeah. uh, you put it, Seth? Oh, it's right there. Okay. And if you hit the dislike button, hit it twice. What? <laughs> yes. yes. That's perfect. I mean, that's a good closing right there. I love it. I mean, and so it's and when, like, I, when I did that little thing, you need to like bounce the little <laughs> bell around on the video and be like, where, where'd you put, where'd you put, oh, there it is. Uh.